Well, the new year is the perfect time to reassess your priorities and let go of things that are no longer serving you. And joining us this morning to show us how to build a minimalist mindset for the new year is Jane Store. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you as well. I remember being taught as a child, maybe it was my mom, you know, a <laughs> cluttered desk leads to a cluttered mind. So it's so important to declutter. And you have some great ways, including a book for dummies. Yes. <laughs> Decluttering for dummies. Yeah. So yeah, what's basically the, the message for, for this book? So the message is, um, like the advice you got probably from your mom, a yeah. very smart lady, but declutter your space, declutter your mind, and also digital declutter, which is going to be big for 2020. Okay. And we'll get mm-hmm. to the digital aspect in a moment, but first, uh, I want to talk about this cube. Yes. What is that about? So um, the first part of my book is all about mental clutter. And today we are so cluttered and mm-hmm. we're stressed, right? We have so many things. So this time, Cube, I saw it in Organized Jane, but it has seriously changed my life in terms of how I approach a lot of tasks, including digital. Mm-hmm. But I said it, you know, for 30, 60, 15 minutes, I said it, I have this time looking at me and I only do a task for that amount of time. I do nothing else. Okay. I don't check Facebook. I don't get up. I don't organize things. I just work on that task. So okay. it's really helping me get mentally decluttered. Okay, a, mm-hmm. uh, a, a kind of digital detox. Yeah. A brief one. Uh, but, uh, donation boxes and declutter boxes. This is kind of a, a novel concept, especially for kids. Yes. Um, so you mentioned that minimalist mindset and yeah. always, you know, decluttering should be part of your life. So I sell these two on Organized Jam, but you can use any box. You can just uh, create a box and say donate or sell, have kids d- decorate them. They'll maybe use them. But keeping something in your house like this will help you keep it top of mind. And we know every day we have stuff coming in. Especially so, over the holidays. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. So you probably have a lot now actually yeah. from the holidays. So why not take a moment to put one of these boxes in there, keep them and constantly be decluttering. And reinforcing to the kids. Exactly. Decluttering is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of over the holidays, a lot of shopping and receipts. Yes. What's the best thing to do to organize oh. your receipts? So a lot of us might have boxes of receipts. I actually don't anymore. I had to go find a receipt, but you might have a lot of boxes with overflowing with receipts. So I say 2020 is the year to go digital with receipts. Whether you're an entrepreneur or just have a lot of receipts or from shopping, we need to always keep them. So I say take those receipts. There's lots of apps now that are super simple. Some are even free. Take a photo of it. It uploads the vendor, the um, the amount, and then you can actually send it to your accounting software mm-hmm. or you can file them. Okay. And then you can throw these away. Shred them and toss them. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you mentioned uh, digital detox in terms of work inbox. That is my, honestly, my New Year's resolution because I always have unread mail and I rarely delete and then just kind of grows. Yeah, so I brought my computer today because I think that 2020 is going to be the year that we need to focus on digital decluttering. And emails, receipts, and photos are the big ones. And I say inbox zero is the new thing we should be striving for. I say there's two types of people, one with zero in their inbox and one with... 957,000. That's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's just the time we need to get organized with it. So really, there's a lot of courses out there. I'm going to be re- revamping a course on email management. Okay. But it's all about prioritizing and just really being ruthless and only checking them twice a day versus all throughout the day. Um, when it comes to deleting, though, what's your advice in terms of when to delete? Right away or set a time at the end of the day just to delete your emails or a weekly basis, monthly basis? Because honestly, for me, it's like three to six months. Yeah, and if you have so many, I would do a bulk delete because if you haven't read those 7,000 emails in the last year, chances are They're you're not, not exactly. And chances are if they really need to get a hold of you, they will email you back. Or if you haven't read them now, just delete them and start fresh. Okay. Otherwise, twice a day, check your emails and delete right away. Mm -hmm. Um, So just overall digital detox and decluttering, it honestly has the best effect is your mental health improving. Oh, yes, for sure. And it's a lot like going back to that. Even now we talked about kids. We are in a society where we're really stressed about it. Right. And starting from our kids, we have too much stuff. And then we go online and our, our, our phones are cluttered. Our inboxes are cluttered. So we're constantly around that state of stress. So your space should be clear as well as your digital space to kind of clear that so you can focus more and use those time cubes to help. Awesome. Well, here's to uh, Declutter 2020. Thanks, Jane. Thank you.